guys, today we're gonna review on these shoes. This is from Hoka. One one or one 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 whatever. It's a Bondi L Gore-Tex size nine and a half. I never had the Hoka shoes before, so just in case I went to half size up. And one of the reason that I bought these shoes or bought this brand is I have a foot problem. I have a flat feet and all kind of fucking foot foot problem. So if I wear some regular shoes like that, um, my foot gets tired easily and then uh, I get some pain. And that's why I got these shoes. And that's the another reason I got like a half size up, just in case, cause I don't want the shoes is too narrow for my for my foot. So first, it's all black colorway, and as you can see, you'll see this Gore-Tex um, tab. The upper is made of the leather, so I believe this leather is waterproof, and also the mesh, but this mesh is the Gore-Tex Gore mesh, you know, the, the thing that you can see from the New Balance sometime. this and the back you will see the logo on the side <coughs> and the back this is reflective uh, and the heel tabs like this and on, and on the tongue also it uh, made with the mesh material The logo in front. So since it's Gore-Tex, I don't know how good with the water, rain, or weather, or even the sweat, sweating inside of the shoes. So yeah, I hope the air ventilation or air circulation good uh, on these shoes. Uh, as you can see, midsole is thick, thick midsole. And also look like this. And here, if I press it, I can easily press it on this midsole cushion. It's very um squishy. Like this. Because of this midsole, I I haven't tried it on yet, but I feel like it's gonna gives me a very comfortable feeling. To it and sometimes um, for the flat fit some people say I need to wear some hard missile or the flat like a missile but um, I have one shoes like that but it hurts my feet if I walk like one hour or something, something like that so that's why I bought this one it has like a extra extra cushion so yeah and this one was kind of famous because of the Kiko Kostidanov, the the designer. I think he's from some somewhere in, in Europe, Eastern Europe or Northern Europe. Yeah, because he wears the Hoka a lot, and it got famous in Korea a little bit, I think. And overall design is very simple, and chunky. I really like the shoes. If I like the Hoka shoes, comfort wise or the fashion or the design wise, I'll probably try to get another one. Anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and then I'll tell you guys how it feel uh, as a sizing and the comfort wise. Thank you for watching and see you next time guys bye okay so i wear this and from the top you can see kind of it looks wider than i thought but overall it's not bad and then because of the amount of the cushion i thought it was gonna be feel like whenever i wear ultra boost you know i can feel like i'm walking on the some kind of trampoline or something but surprisingly the cushion is quite firm firmer than i thought 
I don't feel any um, kind of feeling that my my foot like get like sunk like sink in to the cushion. It has a very good support. I think whatever the layer uh, in between the shoes and the missile, there's like some kind of like a plate or something. Huh. And because of the shape, it kind of helps me or helps my foot roll uh, naturally or easily. Yeah. And I don't know if I can. This is like how it looks like from the side. I think it's not bad. But from the top, it's wider than I thought. Let me see. Yeah. I think this one could be a uh, good shoes for long walking I don't, I don't know if people running with this like thick cushion or the missile but yeah and sizing i'm wearing with without socks but even i went to the uh half size up uh i think you can go true to size but if you like that um, space, the extra space in your shoes, like me, because of the foot pain. Uh, then half size okay, but for regular people, unless you have a wide fit, uh, go to true to size. Half size is still okay, but yeah. Okay, that's it. So thank you for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye.